Hello there, Pisces, and welcome to my channel and to my video here for the 2 2021 portal. Big, big day, 11 days from the new moon that we just had on the 11th. By the way, I, I facilitated a guided meditation. Uh, first card already up, five of cups. Uh, so if you miss that, please do it. Um, you can do it at any time. Doesn't have to be on the new moon to be a year from now. And it would still be um, very important for you to do at any time. This one wants to come out. The sun. Interesting. Same position the sun was in for Aquarius. Uh, anyway, if you don't know me, my name is Infinity and I'm a psychic, physical empath, natural born energy healer, psychic, medium, channeler. I, like I just said, I facilitate guided meditations where I don't design them. I just show up and my guides tell me what we're doing. The hermit, right after the sun. Oh, uh, I'm also a soul guide and uh, ascension guide, and I offer a lot of different types of services for energy healing, ascension, spirit and soul work, connecting with your guides, and I have a really awesome uh, program called the Evolve Now program, uh, where we do some really deep healing, and then you work for a month, or work with me for a month, Um and uh, all of the information's on my website. I offer a two hour free consultation and energy healing. So if you're so guided, check out my website, thehealingbutterfly.org. Let's continue. Next card, two, or sorry, yeah, two of swords after the hermit. Interesting. Uh, Queen of Swords in reverse after the Two of Swords. <clears throat> We're going to get eight cards here. Knight of Cups after the Queen of Swords. It's both in reverse. So we have Queen of Swords, Knight of Cups. Hermit, beautiful card, and two of swords so far. Of course, we started off with these five of cups in reverse, then the sun, and then the hermit, then the two of swords, queen of swords, knight of cups, then nine of, cu of cups. Look at this. Interesting. And temperance. Wow. Pisces. Let me take a look here. Okay, so I'm feeling like it may be, it would be difficult to rest, to sleep, to stay asleep during this time uh, between, well, recently and going into the portal and it's just... You may be tired. It just may be you're not sleeping at night. Um, it's almost like it's in reverse your night and your day as far as your energy goes. Um, it's almost like there's this, even though you like the sunlight, you like daytime, it's like this almost aversion to, to that energy right now. Um, it's just so intense. 
it feels like possibly the body is just taking over and doing what it needs to do, being more up at night. Um, and that really does tend to lend itself to the hermit energy. I'm feeling like the sun is really bright for you right now. Literally, the sun, literally the sun is too bright right now. Daytime, going out during the day, being with other people, not into it. Um, and that's okay. You are working on yourself and your energy. You're also in this nighttime, you're also, you know, not just like messing around with your time. It feels like you're actually being productive. Um, you could even be waking, going to sleep and waking up in the middle of the night, uh, that sort of thing. And just continue, just don't let it bother you. Don't let it get to you as far as your uh, <laughs> your sleep schedule, your sleep patterns, because truly a lot of us are, are going through this whole thing with being up and down. My schedule is kind of both, um, and it just depends. On, uh, and if you're in need of rest and sleep, you need to take, you need to do that when you can get it. So if you're more tired and need to sleep during the day and that's, and that's just working out for you better and you're up at night, just go with it. Don't let it bother you. It's just the way it needs to be right now. You need to, you need to be more in the night than in the day as far as you know, when your brain power is really working. Um, I'm hearing, but don't forget about getting some sunlight. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Looks like we We've got maybe possibly some relationship thing going on that maybe you're just waiting Pisces to see, you're just giving things a little bit of time, but you're ready to shake things up. You're, you're definitely ready to like see the next, the next phase come in. And, and if this could even be something that you've been holding on to, that's not even like a relationship you're in, honestly, this could be that maybe you've held on to, to somebody. This could be, I'm feeling like I'm talking to a female or a divine feminine about a divine male or masculine. And maybe you've been waiting on this person thinking maybe he's even your twin flame, but now you're really wondering, you're like, I don't know, maybe it, maybe I was just wrapped up in something. I caught, I got caught up in things and thought it was something that maybe now I'm realizing it's not because I've had a lot of time to think a lot of stuff to put together, a lot of research, a lot of incoming new information, I think. Speaking of which, I have an e- uh, or it's not an ebook yet. I'm working on it. It's an article on my medium.com. It's everything you want to know about soulmates and twin flames. So a ton of information there for soulmates and twin flames. I'm working on the ebook. Um, anyhow, I feel like Whoever this person is has been a focal point for a while. I feel like this energy is like, for some reason, like there's this light shed on here um, in a different way. And, and he's upside down. He's in reverse. But so, so are you. And definitely thinking that maybe it's just time to let that go 
and move into the future, into this new portal. Nine of Cups always representing a portal to me. And that is what we have here with our uh, 222, 2021 portal. And then we have Temperance. Look at it. We're working on balancing, on connecting more with our guides and guardians, with just leveling up. We're going to definitely be leveling up. I really feel that there's going to be big time understandings for more connections with your angelics, um, archangels. I'm feeling um, Raphael really kind of guiding you towards healing. So for those of you, excuse me, those of you Pisces who are who are uh, connected, feel connected with uh, Raphael, I really I feel his energy coming through a lot right here. Um, and and also Ariel. So advice. Don't sweat the up and down time, okay? You need that up and down time. It's necessary. For to be, and it's really, it's so much easier energetically for us empaths and light workers, healers, energy workers, seers, psychics, mediums, et cetera, et cetera, to work and connect. Look at it's almost two o'clock in the morning. Look at what I'm doing right now. I, I, I get it. Um, and and so we just have to go with the flow, literally go with the flow of energy, be up when it's when you're guided to be up, be asleep when you're guided to be asleep. Um, and it really is appropriate to move on from somebody who isn't even around that you've been waiting for to catch up with the situation, but it's really more about you and your divine union with yourself, with your, with your guides, with your guardians, throwing all of the past energy really cutting cords again, cutting cords coming up just so much recently. So please, if you, if you are not familiar with cutting cords, even if you are, even if you've tried it before and maybe it wasn't successful, you didn't think that was right. I have an ebook for cord cutting, which is coming up so, so much. It's so important to cut cords with people who are no longer around, no longer, you know, may have ties to us energetically, but they're just not really still um, active in our lives or, or, you know, maybe they haven't been for a really long time. Maybe whatever the case may be, do your, do your soul searching, do your inventory, read my ebook about cord cutting and, and just really take that into account. Cord cutting isn't permanent at all. It's not permanent at all. Energetic cords can be reestablished so, so quickly, but it just helps to reset you, reset other people. If you're in each other's lives, if you're not, then it helps to disconnect. It's not, it's like always having the phone on to different people and they can always just come in and, and literally invade your energy in your space. And, and it's just not very healthy, especially for empaths. So it really is time to do that. And then really release. I feel like this release a little bit more contemplation as you move forward, just get yourself into, into this frame of mind. This is where you're going. This is the portal energy coming through all of that light 
the nine of cups so abundant and it's also telling us here with that nine light worker temperance really needing to blend the two worlds the night the day the the real life the hidden worlds the the guides and guardians that we have and really connecting with them and that is really where we're ending up here is more more connecting pisces with your guides and guardians with i'm feeling with those who have crossed over so this is also about that. So you can reach out and just think about the people, the, the family members or friends that you, um, that have crossed over, that you're really close to. The veil is definitely thin and getting thinner. And the 222 portal is about the divine union, about connecting with yourself, your, your soul and your guides and guardians and the people who are actually meant to be your, you know, divine union here in real life. And I also feel like, like maybe not, maybe the one that representing this horseback, this horseback here representing, you know, there is somebody there that just hasn't been considered. Maybe you haven't seen them yet. Maybe they haven't shown up, but they're coming in the background being represented by this horse. So Pisces, you might want to take a look uh, at the horse reading that I did. Uh, I did a, a love and romance reading for with spirit animal. So pick your spirit animal. The horse is one of them. So the horse is just coming, going, I'm here. It's just I'm in the background. And that's just representing the person for you or a person for you. Uh, okay, let's move on to Moonology Oracle. Oh, I got this one. Okay, so, whoa, that was fast. A personal issue reaches resolution. There we go. Full moon in Cancer. And hold your vision. Look at that. Half and half, half lit up, half dark. Like they're saying exactly. Look at this. Half light, half dark. A personal resolution reaches, or what? A personal issue reaches a resolution. There we go. Um, yeah, talking about this thing here, that's going to be resolved. It's going to be like, yep, we're, we're, we're done with that. Um, hold your vision night and day. Hold your vision. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Next. I really like, I really love these cards. They're so in line and on point with what we have here with this energy of of night and day, hold your vision, really speaking to uh, allowing for more to come in, like really seeing more and and allow and I'm just hearing allowing for it to unfold. Hold your vision and don't like waver in your like being distracted or getting caught up in stuff that isn't really necessarily important. Okay, and then we have the Hidden Worlds Oracle. Last but not least here, very magical Oracle. So let's see, Pisces, what do we got for you? Oh. There we go. The meditation, peace, relief, sanctuary. Oh goodness, gotta love it. The meditation. Card number 26, the meditation. So, 
Well, let's get into it here, but let's see. <clears throat> okay. I need some tea. The Meditation, Peace, Relief, Sanctuary, pages number 86 and 87. This being is in meditation out in the wild beyond, yet deep within her own being. She holds a burning bundle of herbs. It's smoke cleaning and clearing the human worlds all the way from her interdimensional home. She is all the gifts of all the natural world, the flowers and the herbs, and she is offering you their secrets and gifts this day. In this stillness and miss this beauty, she is holding the space for you to enter when you are ready. So you too can break away from the dominant reality, which is a lie and enter into the truthful song of this spirit once again. Take a moment this day and feel your way into a piece of time that you can claim for your own. Remove yourself for several long precious moments from the clamor and din of ego and of competition and of rush and hurry and sink into the earthly realness of the land. In this moment, open up the eyes that lie within you. Find your way along the pathways of spirit and safely travel there, surrounded as you are by this cleansing, clearing smoke from the sacred bundle of magical herbs. Find your way to the, sorry. Yeah, find your way to the pace where you can find the expanding nature of your soul, its infinite light and possibilities. And spend a little while there, reminding yourself of who you truly are. In this way, you will knit yourself together again. The pain of expectations, of pressure, of the physical dimension will ease for a time. And you will return refreshed and whole with love guiding you. In this way, you will stay close to your own inner truth. And the pain of dissonance will slowly decrease until it is no more. Meditation is no luxury. It is my soul's, soul's food and drink. And I will no longer allow my soul to go thirsty, to hunger for the true source that nourishes us all. Wow. <laughs> okay. So. Meditation being extremely important here, Pisces, so important to, to, to get there. Um, again, I facilitate a lot of meditations. Cord, the cord cutting is huge. Um, I just did one in integrating a ton of light codes, so much light work that we did for the new moon. I just dropped one today for abundance and healing the money wound. And I'm gonna to continue to do them. I feel like this is also an affirmation, validation, and a message to me that that's what I need to be doing. Um, probably every single day I'll be putting out a new meditation, um, but I'll go as guided. And um, aside from that, this here, the meditation card number 26, <clears throat> and feeling here again if we take a look at this card he could definitely be in meditation um and so so is the hermit and even here the two of swords and um even here with the sun just out in nature soaking it up even here so we're seeing this kind of in two places kind of thing going on here. So this eyes open, eyes closed kind of thing, open, closed, meditation, night and day. So all of that being a part of it, please, please make meditation a, a real 
big part of your days, your life, your guidance, and how you're guided to do that. It will help with the transition of everything. Um, let's not forget a personal issue reaches resolution. This can also be just maybe situations, a situation dealing with a person. Um, it doesn't have to be that you're necessarily waiting on, on somebody in a romantic sense. It could be a, another type of situation with somebody close to you, a family member even, that reaches some kind of resolution that gets wrapped up. Um, you get to move on, they get to move on, that sort of thing. And you're just like, oh, for real. I just get to, you know, kind of thing. But really meditating is so very important. So very important. Okay, well, there we go. Let's not forget night and day, stay awake when you're meant to be awake. So if you wake up at two in the morning, just be awake. Do research, watch documentaries, um, do automatic writing. If you work with cards, work with cards. If you um, uh, do art, do art. Just anything that you are meant to do when you're, you know, in that wake state, even if it's at night. And if you're, have tr if you're having trouble sleeping or staying awake at night, just know that that's part of the spiritual path is being up at night, being up really late, staying awake really late. Usually that'll happen around the full moon or the new moon or, um, or waking up, going, being really tired early and then waking up at two or three in the morning. So just go with it, please just go with it. Okay. And lastly, uh, just have the intention of connecting with your guides and guardians. Have, have that intention and tell them that you're ready, have them help you with, with your, um, with your questions, but they're just saying, meet us, meet us here in meditation and all will be revealed. Everything will be sorted out for you. No problem. All right, guys, thank you so much for visiting here and watching this reading. I hope it resonates with you. Please let me know, leave a comment. Uh, let me know if this resonates with you, share it with others. Um, check out the other uh, videos coming up for this tutu portal. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace out. See you soon. Bye for now.